Hi and welcome back to the channel. So today on the show we are going to be installing something I just got in this box here that I am told is supposed to be absolutely impressive, amazing, and that are these seat jackers. So this uh, kind that I get, mine came from a company called Desert Does It. So they're supposed to be a good company. Uh, these struck me good because not only is this going to level or pick the front end of the seat up, that I am told is supposed to make them a ton more comfortable, but it also has threaded holes in the front, which is going to come in real handy for something really cool that I'm going to show you guys next time. So let's go get these seat jackers in. Okay, well this looks like it couldn't be any easier either. Uh, you've got uh, one bolt in each side of the seat, 14 millimeter, and then I believe you're going to want to go around the back, just thinking about physics, and slide the seat ahead, and pop these covers off, and just loosen up those uh, rear 14 so you can tilt the seat a little easier. Okay, so you don't need to watch that. I'm taking two bolts out. I'll just go ahead and rip this out and show you from there. Okay, I think I actually will show this because sometimes getting interior body panels and pieces off can be what frustrates people a lot. So it's like you can't pry this up, right? It's it's down super hard. It couldn't be easier. You just reach in the front here and just pull and it pops back. Same with the other side. Easier to do with two hands. But literally just touch it like that and off it comes. Easy peasy. Okay, so I took these back ones up about half an inch. Just a little bit to get them up out of the way. I've seen some guys say, oh, you got to take them right out and all blah, blah, blah. No, you don't. So, and then this should just lift. Sure, see? And you don't have to worry about realigning the rear. Okay, so it's real simple. Pick the seat up. You're going to have your stud to the rear. It goes right in that hole. Set your seat back down. And you're going to put your new bolt that you got with the kit. It's going to go in this hole. And your factory bolt is going to go back in the bottom, of course, before you put the seat down. So, just fit both sides in, get them tightened down. Now, if you're paying attention, you probably saw this sitting on the floor and you're going, what's that? Looks like chapstick. Well, Loctite also comes in a paste and you can also get it in tape, just like thread tape. And all I'm going to do is stick a little bit, just a little bit on the front side. Uh, you know what? Everything that gets bounced and jiggled and stuff off-road comes loose. A little bit of precaution with some removable Loctite goes a long way. So all I did was stick a little box under the seat. And that keeps it up off of here so you can get your front bolts in. And tighten down your blocks before you set your seat in place and tighten these ones. Alright, so blocks are in, tightened down. Put just a taste of Loctite on the bolts that you get with the kit that you're going to thread in and tighten the seat down with. So one annoying little thing that these guys did was the factory bolts are 14 millimeter and these guys had to put 15 millimeter in their bolts that hold the seat to their block. Not sure why you would do that. Did you need more tools? Why not use the same thing? The grade and strength will be the same for safety reasons. Maybe there was a sale on these bolts. Who knows, but you will need a 15 to drive those. All right, so I'm sitting in this now, and you know what? I'm impressed. Uh, of course, I haven't put any miles on to see how awesome it will be after a couple of hours. But what a difference in the feel. I did not expect that, you know. Not that I didn't trust the other YouTubers and, and guys on Instagram and stuff that said, oh, they're awesome. Uh, especially if you're taller. Well, I'm not taller. I'm just kissing six feet, so I guess that's tall enough. But, um, yeah. Wow, uh, can't wait to get this out in the road and try it. But first, I better do the queen side first. You know, that's an inch and a quarter rise. Uh, there'll be something about these holes in an upcoming video. That's going to be real handy, real cool. But you can see the angle of the seat. And if I just sweep across, you can see the passenger seat before it's done. How low down it sits and how far up the console it is now. An inch and a quarter, but that's a big incline. So it doesn't seem like that's a big number there, but it really exaggerates the tilt on that seat. All right, so that's the swamper side done too. Now, you can see the same thing there, right? If you can see it all. All the seats are pretty much on the same angle. And uh, yeah, hopefully she likes it as much as I do. All right, that's it for this episode. And 
now we've got another mod done again super easy if you weren't making a video if you were just gonna hammer in on one side or both sides you could do both sides in 20 minutes and do a really good job of it like I say using a little bit of Loctite on those bolts just because they come loose and who wants shit to come loose anyways again Desert does it. I know it's backwards, but there's their logo. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. At least all my fellow taco pilots uh, are probably very familiar with these guys. Um, I'm not affiliated with them like all my mods. Uh, affiliated with nobody because I'm just a teeny channel getting going here following this mods on this Tacoma. This mods. Good English. Anyways, so I'll give you an update probably on Instagram. I don't think this is worth doing another video for. But same with uh, last time we were in the garage, we did those hood shocks. So uh, keep you updated. Hit me up on my Instagram. You can follow me there. And if you like this video, I uh, found it informative or at all entertaining for whatever reason, uh, please subscribe and ring that bell. And we'll see you next time for the next mod, which is sitting right there. And so is the next one. And one after that's over there. So lots of work to do before we get to the big stuff like lifting. So. Have a great day.